Greetings, welcome to the N1IR Electronics blog, video number three, the sealed lead acid battery monitor. Okay, basically I went out to uh, field day and uh, we operate off of battery power and all the HF and VHF uh, radio gear. And uh, what I have found is that uh, a lot of the operators don't pay attention to battery voltage when they're out in the field. So, I came up with a design to monitor the battery voltage and if it dropped below 10.7 volts as we know that's the um, sealed lead acid uh, minimum voltage before it gets destroyed. So my design I want something about the size of a USB thumb drive that had uh, a couple Anderson poles and that would also buzz once it got below 10.7 so after a lot of search online, I went to a Linear Technologies site, and I actually found a pretty good looking op amp here. It's the LT6700. And uh, this right here is our voltage divider for our comparator. Inside here we have a uh, 400 millivolt reference. So I just took that at 10.7 volts. Um, I divided that down so when uh, I reached 400 millivolts it would be equal to 10.7. So these are the two resistors I use. is a 1 meg and a 39k uh, resistor. I chose those values to make the current uh, very small. Uh, this circuit, uh, some of the measured measurements I did, uh, quiescent current just sitting there uh, without the buzzer going off. Look at this, it's 23 microamps. That is extremely small for a large lead acid battery. We're, we're talking about a, uh, a size, uh, about a 10 inch um, sealed lead acid battery, probably about 80 amp hours or so. So 23 microamps is practically nothing, no drawer at all. Uh, the trip count is actually pretty small too. Uh, when the buzzer is going off, it's around uh, 60 milliamps. And of course V-trip is around 10.7 volts. I got 10.62 is what I measured. So uh, there's the schematic. I'm going to have that on the uh, site. And uh, let me demonstrate this circuit for you guys. Uh, basically, let me zoom in on this so you can see it. So basically, I actually could have made this a little bit smaller, but I want uh, easily, something easy, easy to handle. And uh, basically I took an Anderson power pole, and these are uh, solid 14 gauge copper wire. And basically I just milled out a PC board. Let me get my PC board. Here is one of my prototypes. So you can see it. So I have my battery coming in on uh, these two pads, and then my buzzer coming out here. Uh, now the interesting thing is with this... Uh, configuration. I can make the buzzer active high or active low. It doesn't doesn't really matter. Um, so I can I can do either or configuration depending on the buzzer. So right here is my uh, resistors. I don't know if you can see the value or not. And right here is the precision op amp. This is the uh, linear technology. Uh, 6700. And my thumbs up to uh, linear technology. I got free samples for this. And uh, I really like uh, semiconductors uh, manufacturers that like to give out free samples because I get to test this stuff before I make thousands of them. Um, that's real important, especially if you're uh, a student or um, just a design engineer like me. I want to have something to test to, to before I start going into mass production. So uh, to you guys that um, don't do samples, uh, shame on you. You should really do samples, get the student involved, get your get your product out there for the students and uh, hobbyist to uh, to play around with. You can actually sell, I think, a lot more uh, chips that way. So here it is. Let me turn it on. Let me bring my meters over here. This meter is measuring my current. And this meter over here is going to be measuring my voltage. So let's turn this on. So there we go. We got 
19.6 microamps at 12.4 volts. So let me back this down, this voltage down. So this is simulating the battery decaying. And once it reaches around 10.6 or so, we should start hearing the buzzer buzz. And there we go. So let me go upscale on my current rating. And there we go. We got about 4.6 milliamps. Let me turn that off. That's really loud. We have about 4.6 milliamps draw when the buzzer is buzzing. And this will actually go down quite a bit. So you can still hear it. It's down to 1.6 volts. So it's got a pretty uh, wide range to it. And the uh, depending on the chip, uh, it can go up to around 18 volts or so without a problem. Uh, they have a high voltage chip, uh, I believe, that goes up to around 30 volts. So you can use that version as well. Uh, you can get that as samples too. So um, with, with the samples, I think I got like about six different types and and uh, made some prototypes out to test it out. But uh, that's the uh, circuit right there. It's pretty good and it'll save your uh, lead acid batteries from uh, getting too low and frying. Okay, that's it. See you later.